Empowering women in financial services is important for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, when you look at women in our country today, we've come a very, very long way. I think about my own family, and in just three generations of women, it's changed dramatically. My two grandmothers never went to higher education. They really didn't have careers or work outside of the home. My mother then started as a stockbroker in 1969, well before many women were entering this business, and it was a, a tough, tough road to hoe. You look around our industry today, and there are certainly more women in our industry, but not enough, and, and not enough in leadership positions. We're, we're gaining ground, but we're not totally there yet in terms of being represented. So it's important because we as women have unique perspectives and it would be nice to have those perspectives brought into the decision making that affects all of our organizations today. You couple that with the fact that just as I described the three generations of women in my family, more and more women today control the wealth in this country. Whether it's be through inheritance or earning it on their own, more and more women have a bigger say in the finances of their home today, they control the wealth, and they want to see women helping making the decisions that impact their wealth. I'm very excited about the IPA's commitment to this women's initiative. I think it's going to be helpful to create awareness about the fact that we need to attract more young women to our industry, that our industry is committed to helping grow and develop talent all young talent, whether male or female, but particularly that with women. There are certain disciplines within our respective organizations who are members of the IPA where there may be a lot of women in those disciplines, but there are others where there are very few, such as on the investment side. So the IPA's commitment to this helps to expand the opportunities for women, create awareness about why we need to develop these young women into future leadership roles in our organization. WP Carey has done a remarkable job of empowering women in the workplace, and in fact, the statistics related to our employees bear that out. WP Carey and its group of subsidiary companies has 51 female officers in the organization, and we have 60 male officers, so almost a 50-50 split. They've had a, a big commitment to making sure that they attract and retain the best talent, including women, and they've done this in a couple of ways. One is by promoting from within. The culture of WP Carey is to promote from within, and there are several examples of women throughout our organization. Particularly, you can take, for example, our head of marketing and investor relations. She began her career in her early 20s at WP Carey. She's risen through the ranks. She's been there over 20 years. She's now a managing director of our company. You've got people like me who were hired in, I was hired five years ago into the national sales manager role. There are very few women in my role in general in financial services and particularly in the real estate end. This year we hired a CFO who is a, a, a woman. So the company has a commitment at all levels of the organization to hiring, attracting, retaining, and empowering women.